This is the Miami Dolphins Football Network. back to receive the kickoff, and that is Jim Brumfield, who has an average of 21.5 per kickoff return thus far on the season. Ready to go. Here's the whistle as Garrow comes forward with the wind behind him. He toes it deep into the end zone. There will be no run back as the fumble is made. Brumfield pounces on the ball and downs it for the touchback. The Steelers will bring it out, put in play at their 20-yard line. We'll set them for you offensively. Dave Smith and Ron Shanklin will be the wide receivers. Bob Adams, the tight end. Terry Bradshaw, the quarterback. Preston Pearson and John Fuqua will be the running backs. The interior line, John Kolb and John Brown at the tackle. Sam Davis and Bruce Van Dyke at the guards. Ray Mansfield at the center. Setting the uh, defense for you for the Dolphins. Jim Riley and Bob, uh, Bill Stansfield are the ends. Manny Fernandez, Bob Hines, the tackles. Doug Swift, Nick Bonacati, Mike, or uh, Jesse Powell are the linebackers. The quarterbacks are Tim Foley and Curtis Johnson. The safeties are Jake Scott and Dick Anderson. Second down and seven. Steelers football at their 23-yard line. Shanklin splits off the near side as the Steelers are moving from our left to our right for this first quarter. Smith splits a couple of yards off to the left. Bradshaw, as you recall, playing with his bad ankle. He has yet to throw. Here's the handoff to Fuqua. He tries to uh, circle the left there, and he drops the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Fine defensive move by Jesse Powell, the right side linebacker for the Dolphins. No gain. It'll be a third and seven. Uh, the Dolphins are trying to confuse Bradshaw. They've done this with young quarterbacks, and Bonacani has these linebackers stunting and faking, and they're trying to fake blitz. And that time, uh, Bradshaw obviously, it appears from here, changed the play at the line of scrimmage, and the handoff was not too expertly done. And the Dolphins are trying to confuse them. So far, doing well. Smith splits off the left side, and Shanklin comes to the near side of the field. We've got uh, Pearson set as a slot man to the left. Third and seven. Here's Bradshaw back to throw his first pass. He sets. Ripped one. It is deflected in the air. Picked off by Jake Scott. The Dolphins have the football at the Steelers 45 as he fell to the ground immediately. That ball was intended for Dave Smith, the wide receiver from the left. He came down, cut into the middle. But the Dolphins linebackers dropping back deflected the ball in the air. Jake Scott, the free safety, grabbed it on the interception, fell to the ground immediately at the Dolphins at the Steelers 45-yard line. So that's for Jake on the season. Here's his uh, fourth interception. George Myra is the quarterback. Warfield splits left, fully to the far side. Morris and Zonka are the uh, splitbacks. Now Morris comes as a slot man to the left side. Dolphins first down to Steeler 45. Here's a hand up to Zonka. Big hole in the middle. Inside the 40, down to the 38-yard line. Boom, Larry Zonka. Seven-yard pickup on the play. Dwight White, the defensive right end, makes the stop for Pittsburgh. Setting the Steelers for you defensively, the ends are L.C. Greenwood and Dwight White. The tackles mean Joe Green and Ben McGee. The linebackers left to right are Jack Ham, Chuck Allen, Andy Russell. The cornerbacks, John Rouser, Mel Blount. And the safeties are O.C. Austin and Mike Wagner. Setting the offense for you for the Dolphins, George Myers starting at quarterback. Mercury Morris and Larry Zonka are the running backs. The wide receivers are Paul Warfield and Howard Twilley. The tight end, Jim Manage. The tackles are Doug Crusan and Norm Evans. The guards, Bob Kuchenberg and Larry Little, and the center is Bob DeMarco. All right, it'll be a second down and eight. The ball now just outside the Steelers' 28-yard line. Twilley splits to the right, and Warfield to the near side. Second down and eight, Dolphins ball at the Steelers' 28-yard line. Morris and Zonka, the split backs behind Myra. George back to throw his first pass, goes for Warfield. He can't hold it. He threw a little bit behind him, and Paul had to turn around on the run on a pattern for the near sideline at about the 22, and he juggled the ball, couldn't hold on to it. It's incomplete. Covering on the play was right cornerback Mel Blount, number 47, a two-year veteran from Southern University. It'll be third down and eight. Dolphins ball at the Steelers' 28-and-a-half-yard line. This uh, series started when Jake Scott picked off a Terry Bradshaw pass at the Steelers' 45. Here is Fully splitting off to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Zonka is set right, and Morris set left in behind Myra. Third and eight from the Steelers' 28-yard line. Dolphins moving from our right to our left. Myra drops back to throw. Sets up, being rushed now, and he's going to have to eat the ball for a loss. Back at about the 35-yard line, Ben McGee. Right side defensive tackle, playing in place of Lloyd Voss, an eight-year veteran from Jackson State, in on the stop. So Garrow, your premium field goal team, comes in. They put the ball down at about the 37, and this will be about a 44-yard attempt. 
Uh, Twilly came open, cutting a uh, button hook to the middle, uh, but Myra, with all those arms swarming around him, couldn't see him. Noonan will hold. They'll set it down at the 43. Be a 43-yard attempt. Garrow on the season has 19 for 27, his longest 48 yards. He is the NFL's leading scorer with 77 points. Snap set down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It is perfect. And the Dolphins take the lead with 11 minutes and 12 seconds left to go in the first quarter. There's a timeout on the field with a score our Dolphins three and the Steelers nothing. If you like round numbers, Garrow Yopremia now has 20 field goals, 20 extra points, 80 points. Rick? He will kick off the deep man this time. A singleton back there is Mel Blount, number 47. A quarterback, he kicks it high and deep again with a win behind him. Way back and out of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. And the Steelers will start again from their 20-yard line. So Bradshaw will attempt to move his ball club. That interception that Scott picked off earlier to keep the Dolphins' field goal by a premium was his 14th interception of the season. And the lineups remain the same. Smith splits off the far side, and Shanklin comes to the near side. The running backs, flip backs behind Bradshaw, are John Fuqua to the right, and uh, Preston Pearson to the left. Here is the fake handoff, swings a pass out to Smith up the far sideline, across the 25-yard line, just across. He's belted out of bounds on the far side of the field. Dave Smith, two-year veteran from Indiana, Pennsylvania, the tackle by right cornerback Curtis Johnson for the Dolphins, along with safety Jake Scott. They set it down right at the 25, so the uh, swing pass completion picked up five. It'll be a second down, and five Steelers from their 25-yard line. Dolphins on the Apremian 43-yard field goal, lead three to nothing. We have 11 minutes to go in this first quarter. They lock it up to 36. It'll be a third and six Steelers ball from their 36-yard line. Smith splits left, Shanklin to the near side. Third down, and about five and a half Steelers at their 36. Bradshaw back to throw, gets a rush. He completes the pass at the 40-yard line, and knocked down at the 45 is the tight end, Bob Adams. The tackle by Jake Scott. Bob Adams, the tight end on the receiving end of that pass, and that is good for a first down for the Steelers as they begin to move the football. John Staggers comes in now at the strong side wide receiver, replacing Ron Shanklin. Staggers is a two-year veteran from Missouri. First down for the Steelers. The ball up there, 45, as they are moving from our left to our right. In this first quarter, Dolphins lead 3-0 with 8.33 to go in the first period. Gain of about four. It'll be second down and six. The effect of uh, Don Shula's teachings on Chuck Knoll are evident. The Steelers, a tough offensive line, are coming up off the ball the way Shula likes to see the Dolphins do, and getting good blocking. Stanford wiped out on that play. Shanklin comes back in. He splits right. And uh, Dave Smith moves to the far side. Here is Bradshaw. Quick count. Drops back to throw. Has time. Swings one out. Caught by Duke with the 50. Down to the 45. Down to the 40. Knocked down at the 43-yard line. In Dolphin territory, John Fuqua, the tackle by Ponacati and Foley for Miami. And Bradshaw's got his ball club moving now, mixing his plays well. That's good for another first down. As Fuqua picks up the first down on the pass completion for Bradshaw to the, let's check it, I think I said the 43. It's actually the 38-yard line in Dolphins territory. Ball at the Dolphins, 38. Third down at about two. Steelers at the Dolphins, 30. Six minutes, 31 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Dolphins drew first blood on a 43-yard field goal by Gary Apremian. Split to the near side is Shanklin. Smith off to the far side. Bradshaw operating out of a quick count operation here on this series. Sets his ball club on the snap. Bradshaw drops the throw. He completes, and this is going to be a touchdown. The 10, the 5, and Smith is in for the score. He was hit twice, broke away from the defenders, and the Steelers have scored six points first. Bradshaw completing to Dave Smith, two-year veteran wide receiver from Indiana, Pennsylvania. He shook off two tackles and goes in for his fourth touchdown. That for Bradshaw is his sixth TD pass of the year. Roy Jarella will try to point from placement. Staggers will hold. Jarella has 16 for 16 on the season. There is a timeout on the field with 6.24 to go in this first quarter. The Steelers seven, the Dolphins three. Uh, in that series, Rick, Bradshaw was 5 for 6 throwing, and they went 80 yards in 10 plays. And he really sliced up our defense. Uh, they touched down pass, 30 yards, and a great run after the catch by Dave Smith. Mercury Morris, the leading kickoff returner in the AFC, is off to the right. Hubert Kim down the left side. Jarella gets the ball high against the wind. It's not going to be deep, so we'll get a run back. It'll be by Ginn from the 5, up to the 10, the 15, to the 20, 25, and out to the 31-yard line goes Hubert Ginn. 26-yard return by Hibbert. Tackle made by Sam Davis on the defense, the specialty squad. 
for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. The Dolphins will put it in play from our 31-yard line, and George Myra remains in there at quarterback. And uh, uh, Fleming has come in. Mandich comes out. We've got to get a running game established here now. Dolphins with the football from their 31, trailing 7-3. Warfield splits to the near side, fully to the far side. Morris and Zonka, the setbacks in behind Myra, waiting for the snap. Here's a handoff to Mercury, finds a small opening, fumble at the 33, and I believe Pittsburgh got it. They have. Morris fumbles the football at the Dolphins 31, L.C. Greenwood. But the left side defensive end comes up with a recovery. They put it down at the 32. So the Dolphins, with their backs to the wall, have to contend with Terry Bradshaw again now with the Steelers in excellent field position in our 32-yard line. Morris was hit, fumbled, and L.C. Greenwood comes up with a recovery. The momentum now certainly with Chuck Knoll and the Steelers. Remember, Pittsburgh tied with Cleveland. The Browns must play Kansas City today in Kansas City. Pittsburgh wants to be on top. Second down and six. Bradshaw back to throw up the off at 28. Set has time. Here's the pass. It is caught at the seven. In for a touchdown is Shanklin. He got in over Dick Anderson. Anderson hit the ball, knocked it away, but Shanklin came down with a great uh, recovered reception at the seven down in the near coffin corner and just went in for the touchdown. And they're going to have to start getting the Bradshaw up because he is ripping it. Jarella comes in to try the points from placement. Took him just two plays after that recovered fumble. The pass completion from Bradshaw to uh, Shanklin for 28 yards for the score. This is an explosive Pittsburgh team. Jarella will try his second point from placement. Holding will be Staggers. The score with a timeout on the field. The Steelers 14 and our Dolphins 3. Before the Steelers kickoff, here's Henry Barrow. Henry? Defensive coach Bill Arnsberger has his defensive secondary over here on the bench talking to him. He's not at all pleased with the way they're playing. Also a slight injury to Jim Mandich, a slight jam neck. Rector Morris is deep now by himself as they set Hubert Ginn up front expecting a short kick, but uh, Jarella gets it deep into the end zone. It bounces out of the end zone for the touchback. No run back, and the Dolphins will bring it out and put it in play at our 20-yard line. George Myra remains at quarterback. Dolphins drew first blood off pass interception by Jake Scott, and they had to settle for a 43-yard field goal by Euphremian. And then the Steelers came roaring back, a 30-yard touchdown pass to uh, Dave Smith. And then after Mercury Morris fumbled, a couple of plays later, just two plays, Bradshaw hit Ron Shanklin, who made a great catch over the Miami pass defense and uh, r rumbled in from seven yards out for the score. So the Dolphins have got to get some offense started now. Warfield sets in tight this time, and Morris sets out as a wing back to the left. Pulley split off a couple of yards to the right. Zonka in behind Myra. First down, Dolphins from their 20-yard line. Steelers out in front, 14-3. Here's the pitch to Zonk. Sweep to the left. He breaks over a tackler at the 25 and is knocked down at the 26-yard line. Larry Zonka rambles for six yards. Tackle on the play made by middle linebacker Chuck Allen. Uh, the Dolphins are going to be uh, forced here to go to the pass. They want to establish a running game. It's still very early. Four minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Steelers are the second toughest team against the rush. And they're the weakest against the pass, and Myra's going to have to open it up a bit. And he's got the window his back here in this first quarter. Twilly splits off wide to the right side this time. Warfield to the near side. Dolphins moving from our right to our left. Morris and Zonka, the split backs, are behind Myra. Second down and four. Dolphins from our 26-yard line. Here's a handoff to Mercury. Puts his head down and bangs into the right side. He gets about a yard, and that's all. There was just a mass of Pittsburgh humanity there. Joe Green at 265, and Jack Ham, the rookie linebacker from Penn State, at 220, and they put the ball down at the 27-yard uh, line, a gain of a yard, it'll be third down and three, Dolphins from our 27, three minutes, 36 seconds left to go in this first quarter, and Bradshaw has taken our pass defensive part so far, and leads 14 to three, 20 splits to the far side, Warfield to the near side, Dolphins trying to get field position so Myra can open up for the pass, third and three from our 27, from the line of scrimmage. Fire up under center, barks the signals, drops back to throw, good protection, rips one up the middle, and incomplete. At the 40-yard line, intended for Mercury Morris, let him just a little bit too much, Merck dove for the ball, bounced off his fingertips, incomplete. And Morris was free up the middle, and had George just thrown that underthrown a little bit, or not quite as hard, that would have been a big gainer, because Morris just burst out, and there was no one near him, as they double-covered Warfield on one side, and then the strong side safety picked up Twilly on the other, Morris had daylight in front of him. Larry Seifel in the kick for the first time this afternoon. Larry with the window is back, averaging 39.8. Staggers is the punt return specialist. 
Averaging 9.9 per putt return. He's deep at the 22. Fuqua is the shallow man. Line of scrimmage, the Dolphin 27. Here's the snap. Seifel booms a beauty out of there. Long, high spiral. Backing up to the 15. Over his head goes Staggers. The ball rolls into the end zone for the uh, touchback. Staggers wisely just watched it roll. As Seifel will get credit for a tremendous putt that time. And the of 73 yards. And the Steelers will bring it out and put it in play at their 20-yard line. We have three minutes, three seconds left to go in the first quarter. And they have had control of the football, and when they've had it, Mr. Bradshaw has been awesome. We've got Warren Bankston and John Fuqua now as the running backs. Bankston is a big guy at 6'4", 235, a three-year man from Tulane. They split off Smith and Shanklin to the near side of the field. Bradshaw, the quarterback, sets his ball up. First down, Steelers to their 20-yard line. Here's the handoff, going to Bankston, the hole on the right side, 25 up to the 30-yard line. He may have a first down as he falls across the 30. Tackled by Anderson and Scott, the two safety men. First down for the Steelers at their 31 as Bankston found a hole on that right side, big enough for a herd of hogs to run through. It picks up the 11-yard game. This, by the way, is the best uh, quarter we've seen against us by a quarterback this year. And the round of applause the fans have begun to notice, Greasy warming up in front. Uh, there can be fair and foul weather. Greasy has heard days here when the fans yelled for Myra. Greasy, who apparently is coming in, is the leading quarterback in the National Football League by a wide margin under the point system of the NFL. He is uh, five points better, that's like five strokes in golf, than any quarterback in either conference. Uh, the Dolphins have won five straight under his leadership. Uh, he has only been intercepted three times all year. Bradshaw, having a sensational first quarter, has been intercepted 14 times this year. Bradshaw, by the way, is six for eight two touchdowns. First down and 15 for the Steelers off that procedure penalty. The ball back at their 26-yard line. Bankston and Fuqua are the uh, running backs. They split Dave Smith off the far side of the field. Shanklin to the near side. Bradshaw with the first and 15 from his 26-yard line. Steelers lead 14-3 in the first period. Here's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Drops back to throw. He's got time. Falls down and almost lost the ball. He fell down on top of it. The Dolphins will get credit for a sack that time, although he just uh, slipped. He just slipped and fell down, lost the ball, and grabbed it right back, back at the 19-yard line, falling on top of him, defensive end Bill Stanfield. There is some concern on the part of the Steeler coaching staff about Bradshaw's maneuverability with that ankle, and that may have been part of that concern. He was uh, going to run out of the pocket there and just went down. He lost seven. It'll be a second down and 22. Steelers ball back at their 19-yard line. They have to get up to the their 41 for a first down. Smith puts off the far side. Shanklin to the near side. Bankston and Fuqua. Out of split backs and behind Bradshaw. Let's see what he comes up with. Second and long yardage. He's going to throw. Got the pretty good rush. He throws the middle screen. It is complete to the tight end. Gets across the 20 and is knocked out at about the 23. Bob Adams. The tight end made the reception on the play. And he was knocked down uh, by Nick Bonacotti, the middle linebacker. They put the ball down at the uh, 23 yard line. A gain of four. It'll be third down coming up at about uh, 18. For the Steelers, the ball up there, 23-yard line. Fuqua and Bankston remain as the running backs. Dolphins trail 14-3. to three. We have a minute and 23 seconds left to play in period number one. So that brings up fourth down in a punting situation. And Bobby Walden, one of the great punters in the game of football, kicking against the win. The Georgia veteran with a 45.1 average on kick. All right, Walden standing back at about the two-yard line. Scott and Anderson are deep. Here is the snap from the 16. It's a pretty good rush. Gets a low trajectory spiral up the field. Scott will feel it at the 40 in Dolphin territory. Near sideline, 45, 50, and he is bang out of bounds at the 46 in Steeler territory. A tremendous hit by O.C. Austin. 44 yards on the kick, and Bob Greasy will be the Dolphins quarterback. Bob coming off an upset stomach and high fever was in enforced his uh, stay at Mercy Hospital here in Miami last night, but he was feeling pretty good this morning. So the Dolphins have a first down at the Steelers' 46-yard line. 15 seconds left to play in the first period. Dolphins trail 14-3. Fully switched to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Morris and Zonka are the split backs behind Greasy. The NFL's leading quarterback going into today's ball game. Here's a fumble, and the uh, let's see who gets it at the 49 in Steelers territory. Recovered by Pittsburgh. Andy Russell, the right side linebacker. That was a mix-up on the snap between DeMarco and Greasy. And the Steelers take it right back with excellent field position at their 49. Andy Russell recovered the loose football. 
There is just four seconds showing on the clock left to go in this first quarter. As the Steelers go back into the huddle, that's the second fumble recovered by Pittsburgh this afternoon. That's the end of the first quarter. Dolphin action continues from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Steelers 14, our Dolphins 3. The worst uh, quarter we've seen them experience, Rick. Well, we haven't given the football away on, uh, for several ball games until, uh, uh, well, I think the last time we did was early in the season, and uh, we've done it twice in the first quarter of this ball game. They recovered fumbles. Uh, back in there's Preston Pearson, the running back, along with John Kubrat. After Andy Russell recovered Greasy's fumble, the Steelers have a first down at their 49-yard line. Smith splits to the near side. Shanklin off to the far side. Bradshaw ready to go. Drops back to throw. Sets up. Rips rifles one. Smith has got it at the Dolphin 40 and is going to be horse collared at about the 38-yard line. He was hit by Doug Swift along with Dick Anderson, but not before the Bradshaw to Smith combination picks up another first down, 13 yards on the pass completion down to the Dolphin 38. They have not been able, we have not been able to stop Bradshaw except for the first interception of the ball game. And that's what we got our field goal from. We've just started the second quarter. The Steelers moving from our right to our left toward the west end of the field. They scored on passes from Bradshaw to Smith of 30 yards and 28 yards to Ron Shanklin. Dolphins a 43-yard field goal by Garo Yupremi. Smith and Shanklin split to the right. Second and seven. Here's the fake handoff. Back to throw going for the bomb. And it is knocked away at the five-yard line. Intended for Shanklin. Bradshaw heading, ripping on a post pattern at the five-yard line. But the Dolphins pass defense. Jake Scott and Tim Foley sealing off with double coverage. Knocked it away at the five. See how good this young man Bradshaw is. Uh, he threaded the needle with that pass. It took a great defensive play with two men around the man. He put the ball right in the uh, intended receiver's chest. It was just a fine defensive play by the Dolphins. He is having some kind of half for a man with an injured ankle. He's 8 for 11. His team has seven first downs. He's thrown two touchdown passes. The Dolphins have one first down. He's getting time to throw. All due credit to uh, that fine protection he's getting. Smith splits left, Shanklin to the far side. Third down and seven at the Dolphins' 35-yard line. Dolphins stun at the line of scrimmage. Back to throw, he swings a screen out at the 40. Fifth off the far sideline, 35. 30 to the 25, and he's inside the 20 before he's knocked off his feet down at about the 17-yard line. Great blocking out in front. And he picks up another first down. Bradshaw does down to the Dolphins' 17-yard line as he hits Fuqua on the screen. And this guy is everything they say he is. Not only as a runner, but as a pass receiver this afternoon. So the Steelers really giving the Dolphin defense fits. And a first down at our 17-yard line. Lloyd Mumford has now come in. Out of the huddle they come. Split off to the far side. Shanklin to the near side is Smith. Bradshaw drops the throw. Swings one out to the near side. Smith has got it. Puts a move on the cornerback. Gets into the five. He's in for the touchdown. He got around uh, Curtis Johnson. Jake Scott, and the Dolphins are being riddled by young Mr. Bradshaw. The tackling in the secondary thus far this afternoon has not proved effective, and that's putting it mildly. Mr. Smith gets his second TD, Dave Smith, by simply shaking away from a tackler and going in from the 10-yard line. Bradshaw has now thrown three touchdown passes. Roy Jarella comes in to try the point from placement, which staggers the hold. That drive, 51 yards and five plays. There is a timeout on the field with 12.43 left to go in the first half. The score, the Steelers 21, our Dolphins 3. Morris again back to receive Jarella's kickoff. We've got to change this thing around in a hurry. We could use a good run back right here. Here's Jarella's kick. He gets it high with a wind to his back now. It's going to be deep, way back out of the end zone. No run back again. And it'll be brought out, put in play for the Dolphins at their 20-yard lines off the touchback. We have 12 minutes, 38 seconds to go in the first half. And uh, since that... Initial interception that Jake Scott picked off. Mr. Bradshaw has been everything that he's cracked up to be. And they have uh, just taken our pass defense apart. The uh, tackling back there has not been all, I'm sure, that Tom Keene, Don Schillen, Bill Ironsparker would like it to be. Far from it. Wide to the left goes Warfield. Morris and Brock are still the setbacks. They set fully into the near side off the right tackle this time. Greasy, the quarterback, hands to Zonka, comes across the right side, finds a hole, out to the 30-yard line, goes Larry Zonka, close to a first down, that's his biggest rush of the day, they'll set it down just shy of the 30, Chuck Allen, the middle linebacker, tripped him up, along with right side linebacker Andy Russell, it will not be a first down, Tully and Warfield, the wide receivers, Charlie Lee and Mercury Morris are the running backs now, Jim Mandich is the uh, tight side end, 
They set Morris as a slot man to the near side, fully split right, waiting for the snap from center. First down, Dolphins from our 32. Gracie drops the throw. Swings one. Caught by Tilly. 45. 50. Picks up a block. 40. Down to the 35. Still going inside the 30. Down to the 29. The 28. The 27 yard line. Howard Tilly. As Bob Greasy strikes for the first time this afternoon. 43 yards to Howard Tilly. Bell Blount and O.C. Austin are the fellows who finally dragged him down. The Dolphins have a first down at the Steelers 27. Henry? It's that right knee of Larry Zonkis that was hurt a couple of weeks ago that's giving him trouble. They've got an ice bag on it right now. Jim Mandich is also having trouble with that jam neck. He just came out. Amara Fleming back into the tight side end, the strong side end. First down, Dolphins at the Steelers, 27. There is what the pass can do against the Steelers. He'll be second down and seven. Henry? Well, they've got Jim Mandich in traction on the sideline. They're taking Howard Twilley's blood pressure, and he's getting oxygen. He says he's all right, but they're taking no chances. This is a very physical football team, as we told you before the ball game. These Steelers always come to hit. Stowe puts to the near side. Warfield to the far side. Second down and seven. For the Dolphins from the Steelers' 12-yard line. Greasy dropping back to throw. Looking, looking. Throws in the middle. Warfield got a touchdown. was the defender, but Warfield had him beat by a couple of yards. Warfield just split them apart. Greasy's pass led a perfect. That's Bob's 14th touchdown pass of the year, and he is now 3-4-3. Three, three. Warfield has now caught nine touchdown passes. Yapremian will try the point from placement. He is 20 for 20 on the season. We have eight minutes and six seconds to go in the half. There's a timeout on the field with a score. The Steelers 21, our Dolphins 10. Warfield has now caught 29 passes for 655 yards and nine touchdowns. Henry? I tell you, if there's a tougher player in pro football than Larry Zonka, I've yet to see him. He's shaking off that knee injury, put the ice bag on it himself, told the doctor he's okay, working it out, he'll be back in. Jim Brumfield, rookie from Indiana State, number 36. Here is the squibber as a deep man. It'll be picked up by short man, Bankston at the 20, 25, 30. He is hit at the 35 and nailed right there. As they on pile, the first man down to hit him was Hubert Ginn. A fine athlete. Hubert does a great job on offense and on the special teams for the Dolphins. Now, of course, this offensive movement is fine, but the Dolphins have yet to contain Bradshaw, and they must do that, or they're not going to get back in this one. Terry is 10 for 13, unofficially, three touchdowns, one interception. Steelers will put the ball in play from their 35, and we've got to get to Bradshaw and stop this offense. Smith flips to the near side, Shanklin to the far side. Bankston and Pearson are the setbacks. Here's the handoff to Bankston. He is snowed under and hit at the 36-yard line. Trying to come over the left side. The Dolphins defense rose up in mass to smack him down. Manny Fernandez and Bob Hines in on the tackle for the Dolphins. A gain of a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Bradshaw, the quarterback, has Warren Bankston, who goes at about 235 and 6'4". Preston Pearson, a good blocker at the other running back. First down for the Steelers. The ball at the Dolphins 48 yard line. 6.20 to go in the half. Shanklin, who caught that last slant in for the first down, splits to the right side. Smith to the near side. Pearson and Fuqua in behind Bradshaw. He drops back to throw. Has time. No, his protection breaks down. And the Dolphins finally get to him back at the Steelers 44 yard line. I'll tell you, there was some physical physicalness going on there because the hand fighting and the uh, blocking was uh, just vigorous to watch. Jim Riley and Bill Stanfield, the two ends, finally made the penetration and got him back at the 44-yard line. A loss of about eight yards on the play. By the way, uh, we haven't pointed out, uh, this is the first time we have seen uh, more than 14 points scored of us. And they've done it in one half, and we have a big replacement. Rick? Terry Hanratty has come in for Bradshaw. He may have been shaken up with that ankle on the last play. I'll tell you, there's no room for a bunch of kids down there. These guys are really cracking right now. Now, Chuck Nall is not going to risk any serious damage to Bradshaw. He is leading 21 to 10. He's fully aware of that. And Hanratty is certainly capable. He's not Bradshaw. But this team is moving pretty good. Third down, 14. Steelers from there, 48. Back to throw goes Hanratty. Flag down. A pass is intercepted. Oh, he's got it. And it's thrown back at about the Dolphins 30-yard line. But there's a flag on the play. If it's against the Steelers, of course, the Dolphins will decline it. 
That pass was uh, intended for Ron Shanklin. And uh, the ball goes over on the interception as it was against the Steelers. Somebody started too soon, and Foley's interception stands up. So Mr. Hanratty gets one picked off, and Foley gets the interception. And the Dolphins take the ball at our 30-yard line. That is three interceptions for Tim this year. So the Dolphins with five minutes, two seconds to go in the first half, trailing 21 to 10, are 70 yards away. Bob Greasy coming out of a hospital bed to direct this team this afternoon. Warfield flips to the far side, and Otto Stowe is the wide receiver to the near side. They line up in the eye. Zonka now sets as a slot man to the near side. Mercury Morris is the setback in behind Greasy. Here's the pitch to Merck. Gets the block, and he uh, gets off one tackler and is going to be thrown for a loss coming to the near side at the 28-yard line. Coming through there, Allen, the middle linebacker, along with L.C. Greenwood, the left side defensive end. Henry? Well, we got official diagnosis now. Howard Twilley, a slight head injury. He'll be able to go back in in a few minutes. Larry Zonka, a bruised right knee. Jim Mandich, a jammed neck. And we have discovered already that uh, we're not going to run through this team today. Uh, to beat the Steelers, you must go over them. This is a monstrous defensive line that plays the run just beautifully. Third down and eight. Dolphins ball back at their 31 now. As we have 3.30 to go in the half. Warfield to the far side. Stowe to the near side. Greasy. Another long count of the line. Drops back to throw now. As time sets up. He's going to have to scramble as he can find nobody open. And he's dropped for a loss back at the 20-yard line. Tackled by Dwight White. The big uh, rookie defensive end to the right side. Hand fought off the blocker and got in to drop Bob back at the 20-yard line. So it'll be a fourth down, and the punting unit with Seipel comes in. That rush was all defensive line. The linebackers dropped back into double coverage. Seipel came open for about a minute. Uh, Steelers come in with hands high, and Greasy did not see him and did the wise thing in eating it because no one was free. Seipel will be kicking against the stiff breeze, and he'll stand back at the five, staggers deep, and Fuqua is the shallow man. There is a timeout on the field with 2.58 to go in the half. The score of the Steelers, 21, our Dolphins, 10. Line of scrimmage on this point is the Steelers, 46. Walden stands back at the 31, two minutes to go. He'll have the window is back. Scott and Anderson back deep. He gets one high. Gives the coverage a chance to get down on it. Scott will field the ball on a fair catch at the Dolphins' 15-yard line. And so we will put it in play with 85 yards to go. And about a minute and 52 seconds left to play in this half. 40 yards on the kick by Walden. Bob Greasy will be the quarterback. Zonka and Morris will be the running back. The Dolphins in their two-minute offense have Warfield split left. And Otto Stowe to the near side. No huddle. First down, Dolphins ball from their 15. Howard Twilley has come back in. Here's Greasy back to throw. Now he's going to have to scramble with a football. Still behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing deep for Warfield. He's wide open. He's got it. 25. Down to 25. looking for people, rambled all the way back to the two-yard line, then started a sprint out, realized where the line of scrimmage was, saw Warfield wide open, in behind Blount and O.C. Austin down the far sideline, hit him, and Warfield just outran the secondary, 85 yards, one play, and how's that for striking quick? The premium will try the point from placement, and Noonan will hold, here's the snap, set down, the kick is up, and it's perfect. And the Dolphins, with a minute and 32 seconds left to go in the half, are right back in it. It's a 21 to 17 ball game in favor of the Steelers. Larry? And uh, I tell you, friends, that we're seeing two quarterbacks here. They're young men. They're having one heck of a first half. Greasy is 5-4-5. Five, five. He's the leading passer in the NFL. He has had five tremendous games in a row. He is way ahead of all the others. And these statistics are just going to boost him a mile. And Dick Warfield's statistic will go right down to Henry. Wall has now caught 30 passes for 740 yards and 10 touchdowns. Henry? Nick Bonacotti has suffered a twisted knee. He probably won't play anymore today. We'll have to find out just how serious it is after they examine him more at halftime. But it's a twisted knee. 85 yards. If that is not some sort of a club record on a forward pass, it is close to it. And so the Dolphins have 49 yards to go. 
They line up in the two-minute offense. 42 seconds to go before the end of the half. They would at least like to get in a field goal position here. Twilley splits to the near side. Warfield to the far side. Morrison's rocking in behind Greasy from the Steeler 49-yard line. On the snap. Greasy back to throw. Throws in the middle. Twilley makes a great catch and is really hit and holds onto the ball at the 35. First down Dolphin. John Rouser really cracked him. There's a timeout on the field, Larry. Well, I tell you, I don't know how Twilly is standing up. Uh, both these quarterbacks are so sharp, friends. There's no way to describe it to you, but their passes are not being... They're on the money. Uh, that, as Rick told you, was the longest pass in Dolphin history. A recorded officially is 86 yards, not 85, 86. The former record was against Houston, 80 yards, and was a touchdown pass from George Wilson, Jr. to Bo Roberson. How quickly they forget. 86 yards to Warfield, a new Dolphin record. The that timeout was charged to Miami, and the Dolphins off the 14-yard pass completion from Greasy to Twilly have a first down at the Steeler 35. 30 seconds left to play in this first half. If you're coming in, if they have to settle for a field goal, Garrow will be kicking against the wind down here at the uh, east end of the field. Zonka and Morris are the setbacks. Warfield splits to the far side. Twilly comes to the near side. What a great catch that was by Howard. And he was just, just really cracked. Morris sets as a slot man to the left. Here's Greasy back to throw. Sets up, going for Warfield, and it's tipped away. And uh, let's see if it's picked off. Let's see if they're going to allow it. Looks like it might have been an interception at the 16-yard line. It was picked off on a deflection by middle linebacker Chuck Allen. The ball deflected off the hands of Warfield, and Allen caught it just as he fell to the ground. It was hard for us to see whether he held on to it or trapped the ball. But uh, the Steelers have it at their 16, so they'll take over with 17 seconds. And that is the first interception on a greasy pass. Uh, how many has he had today? Uh, yeah, that was his seventh toss of the day. Went into the ball game with 82 straight without an interception. That was funny because uh, the half Here's the end of the half. Warfield uh, was uh, right in front of another Dolphin. I believe it was Morris, who was right behind Warfield. And had Warfield not put his hands up, I think Merck would have had it. And I don't know who it was intended for. That is the end of the first half in the most exciting half of football we've seen this year. The score, the Steelers 21, the Dolphins 17, and Rick Weaver's got another... Hubert Ginn is deep off to the far side. Mercury Morris to the near side to receive Roy Jarella's kickoff. Steelers lead by a score of 21 to 17. Jarella will have the win to his back. Here's the kick. He gets it high, and it's going to be deep. We'll see if we get a run back. No, it's out of the end zone. It'll be brought up, put in play by the Dolphins at their 20-yard line. Miami will be moving from the west to the east for this third quarter from our left to our right. Warfield and Howard Twilley will be the wide receivers. Cruzan and Evans the tackles. Bob DeMarco the center. Larry Little and uh, Bob Kuchenberg the guards. We've got to get some sort of a running game established here. As we're underway here in the third quarter. Steelers leading by a score of 21 to 17. Defensively for the uh, Steelers. L.C. Greenwood and Dwight Fighter the ends. Joe Green and Ben McGee the tackles. Jack Ham, Chuck Allen and Andy Russell the linebackers. John Rouser and Mel Blount the cornerbacks. Mike Wagner and O.C. Austin are the safeties. Dolphins with a second down and eight. The ball at their 22-yard line. Steelers leading 21 to 17. Well, three touchdown passes by Bradshaw. The first time in his pro career that he's thrown that many in a game. Here's Greasy back to throw on second down. Swings one. It is caught by Zonka. And he is dumped at the 29-yard line. And Jack Ham is shaken up on the play. Zonka ran right over him. The left side linebacker and Ham is getting up very slowly. Get an official's timeout to see how Ham is. Not enough yardage for the first down. The Pittsburgh trainer comes out on the field. It'll be a third down and one as Greasy completes the Zonka across the middle. When this guy hits you with a full head of steam, I don't care who you are, why he takes you out of there. And Ham is going to be walking wobbly off the field. Let's get down to Henry Barrow. They have indeed taken Jim Mandich to the hospital where he'll be placed in traction. Uh, he suffered that jam neck early in the ball game. First down for the Dolphins. The ball at our 32-yard line. We have 13-21 left to go in this third quarter. Out of the huddle now come the Dolphs with Warfield splits to the far side, Twilly to the near side. Morris and Zonka are the split backs and behind Bob Greasy. From the Dolphin 32-yard line, Greasy sets the ball club on the count. Hands off to Zonka, sweep to the right, gets out to the 35, still going, dragging tacklers with him to the 39-yard line. Goes Larry Zonka. Tackle by Andy Russell. And the Dolphins realizing they have to establish some sort of a running game against the Steeler team in the second half are taking it right to them. 
They put the ball down at the 39, a gain of seven. It'll be second down and three. Steelers in the uh, first half struck quick. Dolphins gave the ball away twice on fumbles. And Bradshaw was awesome. Greasy got into the ball game, and he also struck for a couple himself, both to Warfield. Twilly has been great in the receiving department. They set Twilly as a flanker off to the right side, out of the eye. Second down, three. Here's the pitch going to Mercury Morris. Gets a block from Zonka. Gets the corner turn. 40, 45, 50. Down to the 45 yard line in Steeler territory goes Mercury Morris. Mike Wagner, the strong safety, tipped him up. They put it down at the 44 yard line. That is the longest run of the day from scrimmage for the Dolphins. 15 yards by Mercury Morris and Zonka really took that to the end out. They mark it down at the 44 and a half. Uh, earlier this week on a show at WID in Miami, Dial the Dolphins, Paul Warfield was our guest, and I asked him if he ever suggests a play to Greasy in the huddle. He says he never does, as he never likes to interfere with the thoughts of a quarterback. Any discussion he has with them will be on the sideline, but he does not suggest a play in the huddle. Larry Seipel comes in at a blocking position for the Dolphins as Marv Fleming comes out. Third down and six Dolphins from the Steeler 40-yard line. Let's see if they go to Seiple now. He's an excellent pass receiver as well as being the Dolphins putter. Third down and six. The ball at the Steeler 40-yard line. Warfield splits off to the far side. Twilly to the near side of the field. Morris and Zonka. The split backs in behind Greasy. Greasy drops back to throw. Sets up. Now has to sprint out as he's being pursued. Comes back to the other direction. Now for the near sideline. And is tipped up for a loss way back to the Dolphins 42-yard line. Dwight White, a defensive right end, the rookie from uh, East Texas State pursuing beautifully on the play, is the man who got him all the way back to the 42-yard uh, line in Dolphin territory. Henry? One of the most beautiful things I ever saw over here on the sideline, Mean Joe Green threw his arm back about to hit Norm Evans. Norm said, now don't do that, Joe, and Joe just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the Dolphins with a fourth down now. Seiple stays in the punt. He'll be kicking against the wind. And back is Staggers at about the 13. Fuqua is the short man up at about the 32. Here's the snap. Pretty good rush put on. Stifle gets it high, not too deep. The coverage will have a chance to get down the wind, really holding that one up. Bounces at the Steeler 35 and is still bouncing. And now is grabbed at about the 34-yard line by a group of Dolphins. Charlie Lee down on top of the football. So the Steelers will start from there. 24 yards on the punt. If you want to count yardage there. Nine minutes, 59 seconds to go in this third quarter. The Steelers leading 21 to 17. The Dolphins got as far as their 40-yard line. And that's all the farther we could penetrate. Now let's see what Bradshaw can do. He sends Shanklin off to the right side, splits Smith to the near side. The setbacks are Preston Pearson and John Fuqua. Bradshaw from his 34-yard line. On first down, drops straight back to throw. Swings one out. It is caught by Pearson at the 30, gets across the 35, and is knocked down. At the Steelers' 37-yard line, a pickup of about three yards on the swing pass completion. Tackle on the play by Jesse Powell, and Nick Bonacani is back in there on defense. He was also in on the stop for the Dolphins. Second down and seven coming up for the Steelers at their 37-yard line. Nine minutes, 15 seconds left to go. The third quarter, no scoring yet in this second half. Henry? This is a funny thing. The uh, doctor said they had sent Jim Mandich to the hospital. They must not have told Jim that because he just walked back onto the field in his uniform. Well, this is a courageous effort by a chewed-up bunch of Dolphins today. And there's a timeout on the field with 7.48 to play in the third period. The score, Steelers 21, our Dolphins 7. Here's a handoff. Football Dolphins got it. Stanfield recovers for the Dolphins at the 42-yard line. Bill Stanfield from Cairo, Georgia. It was a bad handoff from Bradshaw to Preston Pearson and it popped loose like a wet watermelon seed. And Stanfield was right there on his penetration to fall on the ball. So that's a break. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. Dolphins take over at our 42. Both teams uh, appear a bit conservative minded this third quarter after that wild first half, which is not a surprise knowing Don Shula and Chuck Knoll. And that might, when you get too careful, you'll give the ball up. Warfield splits to the far side, pulling to the near side. Morris and Zonka, the split backs in behind Greasy. Dolphins from our 42-yard line. Greasy drops back to throw, not too deep. He's going to get caught, has to eat the ball. Throwing for a loss back at about the 37. Five-yard loss, making the penetration was defensive tackle Ben McGee, number 68-year veteran from Jackson State. Second down and 15 coming up for the Dolphins. The ball back at our 37. 
Greasy tried to scramble up that time as apparently all receivers were covered as far as he could see and lost five yards. Now, Bob Greasy must be tired. He had a gastric disorder, ran a fever, was in the hospital overnight, uh, did not feel well enough to start. And with that kind of day yesterday, must be a tired man now. And he's been dumped a couple times and he's had a scramble a bit on this tough Steeler rush. Third 15, Dolphins from our 37, Warfield to the far side, Bully to the near side. Waiting for the snap to Bob Greasy. Long count at the line of scrimmage. The buddy move. Here's Greasy throwing. It is intercepted at the 50-yard line by uh, the line. Uh, second, the cornerback Rouser. He's trying to find a hole to run in, and he's hit a couple of times and carries a tackler with him. Bully finally brought him down at the Dolphins' 42-yard line. That was a deflected interception. It was intended for Bully, and he made the final tackle on the play. Rouser, the cornerback is the fellow who picked it off. So, uh, in this game of exchange, the Steelers come up with a football, an excellent field position again at the Dolphins 41, with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Out of the huddle they come. Shankman spreads to the far side. To the near side is Smith. Pearson and Dubois are the split back. In behind Bradshaw. Bradshaw dropping straight back to throw. He sets. He swings one out. Fuqua wide open. 40. 35 at the far sideline. He runs into a tackler and really belts it before he's knocked out of bounds at the Dolphins 31 and a half yard line. Tim Foley. And that play has worked all day for Pittsburgh. Let's get a station break along the line. 66,435 fans here today. This is the Miami Dolphins Football Network. First down at the uh, Dolphins 15 yard line. Smith splits to the near side. Shanklin off to the far side. Here's Bradshaw dropping back to throw again. He swings it out. Flag down. It's caught by Fuqua at the 17, looking for a block. He's hit it and dropped again. Inside the 15, down to about the 12, but there's a flag on the play. Nick Colicani makes the stop. And the penalty is going to be against uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, I believe. A holding call, which will set them back 15 yards. Now Shanklin comes back in and staggers it out at the wide receiver spot. Let's get down to Henry Barrow. Norm Evans took a little shot to the head. They're just down checking his blood pressure. Uh, he appears to be okay. He passed the test of moving his eyes and sticking out his tongue, uh, but they're checking his blood pressure just to make sure. Second down and 18 for a first down. The ball at the Dolphins' 23-yard line. They split uh, Shanklin wide to the right. Set Smith as a squat man right. Pearson and Fuqua the split back. Pitch goes to Pearson. Circles the right side end. He's down to the 15, down to the 10. Flag down, and he's tackled. At about the uh, six-yard line, but there's a flag on the play on the far side of the field. Now let's see who this one is against. Tackled by Curtis Johnson, and it looks like they're going to bring it back. Flipping call on the block, the swinging loose that time, and so Pittsburgh gets another major infraction. Now we must remind you, the Steelers are the most penalized team in professional football, and they're showing why today. Uh, that will happen to you, and it must be very discouraging for the coaching. Uh, the Steelers are uh, moving the ball at will here against Miami. Uh, passing, uh, Bradshaw having a phenomenal day, but penalties have hurt them severely. Warren Banks and the big running back comes in and replaced Pearson at second and 25 for the Steelers at the Dolphins 30. Henry, do you have something? Wayne Mass is going to go in on the next offensive series. They're going to let Norm Evans rest a while. All right, split off the right side is Shanklin. To the near side is Smith. From the 30-yard line in Dolphins territory, they got to get to the five for a first down. The Steelers, Bradshaw drops back to throw, sets up, it is picked off! 40 yard line, 45, Jake Scott at the 40, he's knocked out at the 41 by Dave Smith. And Scotty almost went the distance, had he gotten any, any blocking, there was nobody out in front of him actually to block, except uh, some of the Pittsburgh offensive players. Had he been able to get around some of those guys, he might have gone all the way. So we get the ball back again. Is Scott's second interception of the game. 13 seconds. The Dolphins in the last period will have the win to their backs. Let's see if they're going to try and get another one off here. I don't believe so. Clock continues to move with three seconds, two seconds, one second. And there is the end of the third period. Dolphin football action will continue from the Orange Bowl with a score. The Steelers 21, our Dolphins 17. 11 situation from their 40-yard line as we, get, we begin in play. Here in this final period, Twilly splits to the far side, Warfield to the near side. Morris and Zonka are the split backs. Jim Kick has been in on only one play this afternoon that we have noticed. Greasy, with a long count at the line of scrimmage, fakes the handoff, sprints back to his left, sets up, going deep for Warfield. He's in the open! He's got it! Touchdown, Dolphins! Field 
has taken young Mel Brock and shown him how the premier receiver in the National Football League operates. He was wide open at the 20-yard line, just hauled in the ball, and nobody was within 10 yards of him. Brock, the man who was supposed to be covering him, just stood there and shook his head. That is Greasy's third touchdown pass of the day. And, and uh, Warfield's third touchdown catch. He now has 11 on the season. Greasy has now thrown 16 touchdowns on the season. Yepremian will try the point from placement. That was the first play of this fourth quarter. And for the second time this afternoon, the Dolphins have the lead. Snap. Garrow gets the ball up, and it is perfect. So with 14.53 left to go in the ball game, the Dolphins now lead by a score of 24 to 21. There is a timeout on the field, and we'll be right back. Uh, friends, Paul Warfield on the season now. 31 catches, 813 yards, 13 touchdowns. Rick, here's your premium's kickoff. He gets it high and deep flout back there. They will grab it on the baseline of the end zone. Downs it, no run back, and the Steelers will start from their 20-yard line. A touchdown covered 60 yards, Greasy to Warfield. It's interesting to note that Warfield, since he's been a Dolphin, has never been presented a game ball. If the Dolphins hold on to win this one, he's a cinch to share it, at least with Bob Greasy. Now it's up to the defense. Bradshaw will try to go to work. They're 80 yards away. The Dolphins lead 24 to 21. Out of the huddle, they split Smith off to the far side. Chet Shanklin is a uh, split receiver to the left. Here's the pitch. And he is not flat. They had the blitz on that time. A great play by Doug Swift from the linebacker spot who flipped and knocked Pearson flat at the 14-yard line. He almost intercepted the pitch from Bradshaw to Pearson, and Pearson never got on track. A six-yard loss. Second down at 14. Bradshaw and his football team back at the 14-yard line. And they are going against the wind, don't forget. All right, out of the huddle. They split off Shanklin to the near side. Smith to the far side. They've got Dubois and Pearson to slip back. Ten behind Bradshaw. From the Pittsburgh 14-yard line. What a game this has been. Here's Bradshaw. Takes the handoff. He's going to get hit, and he's going to have to eat the ball back to the 6-yard line. The Dolphins rush on. Bill Stanfield. Also in on top of him was Manny Fernandez. Back to the six, and this defense is really aroused now. They put it down at the seven-yard line. And fortunate they did, because Shanklin had gotten behind Johnson and beaten the zone, but Bradshaw had no chance to throw to him. Walden is a heck of a kicker, coming in with a 45-yard average. So Jake Scott goes back deep. Walden will stand about four or five yards deep in the end zone. The line of scrimmage, the Pittsburgh 10. Nick Anderson off to the left at about the 37. Scott is deep at the Steelers' 45-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Here it is. Walden gets the kick out of there. It's a short one. Wobbly end-over-end -end kick. The Dolphins will let it bounce. It bounces sideways and now comes across the 45 and is going to roll and be blown dead at the midfield strike. Actually, a pretty good kick. He got a good roll out of it. 40-yarder for Bobby Walden. The Dolphins are 50 yards away. There's a timeout on the field with 12.46 to play. The score, our Dolphins 24, the Steelers 21. We've got to move the ball now. Second down and five at the Steelers 45. Dolphins in possession. Warfield split left and fully to the far side. Here's the snap. Reese fakes the handoff, swings a pass to Morris. Can he get the corner turn? No, he's going to have to be tossed for about a five-yard loss. Back to the midfield stripe again. Joe Green came booming through there and was the first man to make contact. Jim Rouser, the left cornerback. So the Dolphins on the pass completion lose four yards as they put it down at the Steeler 49. Well, the punting unit comes on on fourth down, and Seifel will have the window is back. Now, placement of punt and coverage is the primary thing here, not distance. 11-11 is the time left to go here. The Dolphins have a narrow three-point lead, 24-21. to There's a timeout on the field with 11-03 to play. The score are Dolphins 24, the Steelers 21. Now to keep you posted, the Dolphins 6-1-1, one, one. Uh, the Baltimore Colts are 6-2, and two. the Colts lead the Jets 14-13 in the fourth quarter, and here the Dolphins lead the Steelers 24-21 in the fourth quarter, and they meet next week. Ball at the 17, it'll be second down and four, Steelers from their 17, here's Bradshaw dropping back to throw, swings that little pass out the field on the 20, eludes the tackler 25-30, and is knocked down at the 35-yard line. 
That's what they're going to have to stop, and that's what Bradshaw has been throwing with great accuracy all day. Now he's got pretty good field position as they put it down at the 34-yard line and a first down for Pittsburgh. Tackle by Jesse Powell. Ten minutes, eight seconds left to play. The Dolphins lead by a score of 24 to 21, and it's up to the defense. It'll be a second and ten. Steelers from there, 34. And we've evened out Bradshaw now to round figures uh, unofficially. Terry has thrown 25 passes and completed 20. Greasy has only nine completions, uh, but already over 200 yards. Warfield has only caught three passes today, and all three have been for touchdowns. Out of the huddle now come the Steelers with a big second and ten call. 9.52 to go. They split off Smith to the far side. Set that. Adams, the tight end, out as a slot man to the left side. Shanklin to the near side. Back to throw is Bradshaw. He rips one up the middle, almost picked off at the 40-yard line. Great defensive play, intended for Fuqua, and a good play by Doug Swift from his linebacker spot who deflected the ball away. And the only Amherst graduate ever to play professional football is having one of his great days here today. Swift is just all over this field. Let's go down to Henry Barrow. Jim Kick just walked over to our microphone and says, have you ever hel felt helpless? He says he feels so helpless, he just can't take this ball game. He's got to get back in the lineup. Staggers out, Shanklin back in at the wide receiver spot. Ball at the Steelers' 30-yard line with a third down and six. Six minutes and ten seconds to go. Dolphins lead 24 to 21. That Shaw breaks him out of the huddle. Dave Smith, who's caught two touchdown passes the ball game for Pittsburgh, splits left. Pearson sets as a slot man left, and Shanklin is wide to the near side. Fuqua in behind Bradshaw. Bradshaw drops back to throw, throws that little swing pass. It is complete to Fuqua. He gets up to the 40 to the 41-yard line, and that's a first down. They went for the short one again. Bonacati and Powell containing on the defense, but not before the Steelers pick up a first down. They put it down at the Pittsburgh 42-yard line. Now, friends, remember, uh, Pittsburgh in their conference is 4-4, four and four. Cleveland's 4-4, four and four. the Browns must play Kansas City, they're starting in about a half hour. Uh, Pittsburgh could well take a tie here today. First down at the Dolphin 42, and they are getting into field position now. Any field goal attempt will be against uh, the breeze, what there is of it now. Smith splits off to the left, Shanklin to the near side, the fans hollering for the defense to shore it up. Ball at the Dolphins, 42. 5.09 to go. Back to go. throw goes uh, Bradshaw. He sets. He rifles one. It is incomplete. Almost picked off. And a flag down. Maybe interference against the Dolphins. The pass was intended for Smith. And he was tackled by Curtis Johnson. The ball popped loose. And let's see if it, that's what they're going to call. Pass interference against the Dolphins. And gives the Steelers a first down at the Miami 30-yard line. And actually, the official closest to it did not call it. The official on the far side dropped the flag. The official right on top of the play did not. But that's what she wrote. And Pittsburgh is threatening now to go ahead. And there's only five minutes left to play. Well, at least get in a position where they can tie it. First down at the Dolphin 30-yard line. Now we've got to go to work here on defense. Smith, split left. Shanklin to the near side. Bradshaw warming to the pass. Waiting for the snap from center. He hands off to Pearson. Pearson for a hole on the right side. Flag down. And we're going to get a penalty against the Steelers as Pearson got down to about the 23-yard line before he was tackled, but flags go down, and a penalty coming up against Pittsburgh, I believe. Tackled by Bob Hines and Doug Swift on that last play. A very angry Terry Bradshaw knew what the call would be and just threw both arms up in the air and dropped them down as, again, penalties hurt the Steelers. Uh, uh, in the area of honest reporting, the Steelers had moved deep into Dalvin territory, had two 15-yarders against them before the Warfield touchdown, and here again, from deep in their own territory, now back to the 45-yard line of the Dolphins. Another, what they call an excusable penalty. Bankston goes out. Fuqua comes back in. The running back spot. The ball at the Dolphins, 43. Second and 23. For the Steelers. They split off Shanklin to the near side. Smith to the far side. Pearson, a slot man left. Here is Bradshaw back to throw. Getting good protection. He rips one. And it is incomplete. He threw it too high that time. Down the near side, it's set up for Shanklin. And uh, the Dolphins' defenders were Tim Foley, along with uh, Dick Anderson. The incompletion stops the clock with 4.10 to go. It's third down and 23 at the Dolphins' 43-yard line. Now, with the Dolphins uh, in that prevent to try to stop the big one, I would not be surprised to see Pittsburgh go to the swing pass here and set it for the field goal. Here comes a man in with a play. Warren Bankston, the big uh, running back, comes in, and Preston Pearson goes out. Ball at the Miami 23-yard line. They must get just across the 20 for a first down. Third and 23. 
Shanklin Smith set off to the left. Bradshaw back to throw. Set. He goes to the middle. It is caught and dropped. Incomplete. Smith had it right in his hands and could not hold on to it at the Dolphins 22 yard line. Dave Smith. He had that pass. He was open. He had it and then he didn't have it. So it's fourth down and 23 yards to go for a first down. For a first down situation. Two minutes, 14 seconds show on the clock. Dolphins lead 24 to 21. We've got to keep possession of the football here. The Steelers know it as well as we do. Dolphins back in a huddle. They're trying to let it run to the two-minute mark to see if they got time to do that without being penalized, and they do. There's two minutes left to play. Dolphin football action continues in a minute. The score, Miami 24, Pittsburgh 21. Rick Weaver back at the Orange Bowl. Jim Kick has just made an appearance in the Dolphins' offensive backfield, his second appearance of the ball game, replacing Mercury Marks to give blocking strength. The Dolphins need to get to the 14. They're at the 12 to keep possession of the ball. Third down and two. Two minutes exactly left to play. They set the short yardage offense up there with Warfield as a wingman to the left side. Greasy up under center, waiting for the snap on third and two from the Dolphins' 12-yard line. Dolphins lead 24 to 21. Here's the handoff going to Zonka. Gets outside. He wrestles and bangs people. I don't know whether he made it. I don't think so. Trying to move over the right side. And the whole left side of the Pittsburgh defense was up there to meet him. Let's see whether they're going to put the football down. We're going to get a uh, timeout call by the Steelers, or by the officials. And position of the football is very important here, Larry. Now, Shula has already conceded they did not make it. He sent out the Dolphin punting unit, but the officials have called for a measurement. The Dolphins can ask for it. Either captain can ask for it, and they did not make it. The Dolphins forced to punt, so we're going to have a, have a hair raiser here. Hang on, folks. Well, when Zonka can't make it, you know what kind of a rushing defense the Steelers have. That ball is just about a half yard shy, maybe even less than that. At about the 13 and a half yard line, they needed to get to the 14, and the Dolphins did not make it. So Seipel will come in again the punt and the breeze is blowing right in our face so we will have some of it behind him and going back as the deep man is staggers the clock shows a minute and 44 seconds to go and Seiple needs a good long one here Seiple stands a yard deep in the end zone waiting for the snap here it is he gets it out of there and it is not a long kick it's high bounces and hits a Pittsburgh Steeler who's going to get it loose ball Dolphins recover I believe Dolphins recover. Curtis Johnson got the football. I don't know whether it was Staggers, was it Staggers whom it hit? It hit a Steeler. It hit Staggers and bounced away. He slipped on the poly turf. The ball rolled loose back up toward the Dolphin end of the field, and Curtis Johnson fell on it for the Dolphins at our 40 yard line. Holy Toledo, what a turnaround. Lloyd Mumford, Curtis Johnson down there as they scramble toward on the near sideline. And Rick, I think the sun may have played a part in that. He just fell down and the ball hit him. Staggers would have uh, returned the ball around the Dolphin 40-yard line. All right, the Dolphins with a minute and 32 seconds now have excellent field position. A three-point lead. Warfield splits to the near side. Waiting for the snap from center. Here's Greasy, hands to Zonka, to his right, cuts back over right tackle, and gets out to about the 42. A second down and eight coming up, and a timeout will be taken by the Pittsburgh Steelers. On that uh, try for recovering that fumble, Lloyd Mumford got his bell rung. He's getting oxygen on the sideline. He'll be okay, but uh, he got knocked pretty funny. Seifel will stand at the 32. Line of scrimmage, the Dolphin 46. Back at about the 10 is Staggers. 22 seconds, 21 seconds, 20 seconds, 19, and... The Dolphins will get a five-yard delay of the game penalty as they fail to get the snap away, but that also stops the clock with 19 seconds left on the board. And so, line of scrimmage, as the punt will result, will be the Dolphins' 41-yard line. I'll tell you, this has been a dandy. And it's not over with yet. 19 seconds to go. Seipel, with the window is back, will stand back at about the 26. Staggers and Wagner are the deep men. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. Seifel gets off a wobbly short punt down the near side, and it's going to go out of bounds. That kick was almost blocked. Almost blocked. And so Pittsburgh, as the ball goes out of bounds, will have 13 seconds to put it in play, and let's see where they're going to mark it. 
They put on a good rush that time. They mark it at the Pittsburgh 42-yard line. Only 18 yards on the kick. 13 seconds left to play. The Dolphins lead 24 to 21. Bradshaw sets his ball club from the uh, Steeler 42-yard line. He's back to throw. Sets up, has time, swings one out to Fuqua at the 44 at the far sideline, running for the sidelines, out of bounds at the 50 to stop the clock with six seconds to go. They've got to be careful here because Jarella, if they don't get in for six, is quite a kicker. He picked up uh, about eight yards. Let's see, they bring in Staggers. I think they're going to try it right, right now. Right, right, right. Jarella comes in. Staggers will hold this. As they'll put it down at the 43-yard line, it'll be a 53-yard attempt against this breeze. Six seconds left to go. 53-yard attempt. The far inbounds hash mark. Snap, set down. The kick is up. It is going to be short. Bounces, but there's a flag down. Back at the 46-yard line. The clock runs out, but there is a flag. And the penalty will be against Miami, and the game cannot end on a defensive penalty. Somebody jumped a little bit too eager on the defense. The penalty is against Miami. The kick was short. No good. Rick, I should point out that it was about five yards short. The penalty is five yards. They oh. must get this kickoff. You can't end the game, as you pointed out, on a penalty. All right, on a penalty against the defense. This time it'll be a 52-yard attempt as they'll set it down at the Steeler 48-yard line. This will be the last play of the game. No time left, and the penalty against Miami has given them uh, another opportunity here. Now the officials want to get everything set properly. Jarella will try the field goal again. This will be a 52-yard attempt. John Staggers will hold for the far inbound hash mark. He's kicking against the breeze. Snap, set down. The kick is blocked. It is blocked by Curtis Johnson. Somebody else in there, and the ball rolls out of bounds, and the Dolphins win by a score of 24-21. to 21. Curtis Johnson, I believe, will get credit for the block. A tremendous effort by the Dolphins. The final score, our Dolphins 24, the Steelers 21. We'll be back with the final wrap-up in one minute.